Okay guys, we're back on the motorbike today. Uh, a few things I've got to sort out. I've already bent this muffler out a bit. So hopefully the tyre clears now. I've got to hook these brakes up. But the hardest thing to do is put this little wee reservoir back on this shock. And I was hoping to fit it in here. But there is hardly any room. I can't make it go out this side really because the carburetor's in the way. Maybe actually I could make it go there. Put it down here maybe. I don't know, I'll figure something out. Okay, now I've got to weld this tube onto here, which is going to be pretty hard. I hope it works. Okay, so I finally welded the shock off, filled it with oil and tested it. I had heaps of legs, so I filled it up, welded it, tested it like three or four times. So I finished that, thankfully. Seems to work now. But in the process, I melted that bush in there. So I'm going to make a new one. Just got to put a little bit of rod there, that's 12 mil, so it'll press that out. But here's a trick how to drill a hole in the center. If you don't have a lathe, Drill a hole into a piece of wood, pop that in there, and then drill your size through because it'll be located in the middle. I hope it's try. While I've got this apart, I'm going to run a bead of weld around the spring just to soften the spring a bit so it's a little bit softer. Let's see if this works. Okay, so I've been at this for a while with this shock. It's all together and in there, but it leaks out of this top seal and the spring just rebounds like a pogo stick still. And it also hits on the carburetor. So I've got to change it. I've got to do something different. So I pulled this shock here off the old bike. Now I can put it in here. What I think about doing is making a mount here and then making a mount off this part to here because this here won't have enough travel so I'll try and do that. So I've got a bit of cardboard here sort of showing my idea. This part here moves separate to this part so I've got to make it clear and I'll put a pivot down the bottom there. Luckily I've got a piece of aluminium here that I it's another failed project, so I'll use that one that's off the surfboard. I think it's two mil thick. Okay, so I've got that piece tacked in there now. That's sort of what it's going to look like, but I have to beat it around a bit and shape it and tack it. Okay, I've got that piece sitting in there, welded off. Uh, now to make a brace, uh, two of these clevises to hold this. I might make that out of three mil, because I've got some of that left. I'm gonna make one more up there, so I'll cut those out shortly. Since this back mount is gonna be here, where I was planning to fill up with gas, I'm gonna need to strengthen it up, which means probably making the seat post not adjustable. 
So what I might do is just, I'm gonna pad weld a piece here and then drill and tap a big enough hole to get fuel in, in the top. There we go, I've got a bit of a lump there. I can you now drill and tap that big enough to get some fuel in. But oh, I don't like welding fuel tanks because this has already had gas in it for the first ride. Okay, that's drill and tap now. I can put a bolt in there. So I'm gonna weld this to here and then tack that onto there hoping that it's going to work. Righto, so I've got that in there now and I've been testing it out, it kind of works. So the dampening works really good as you can see but the uh, spring's too soft, I can bottom it out too easy. But easily enough, I can put a packer in the spring or another spring in there. So I'm pretty happy. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to blank this hole off since I'm filling it up over there now. I've got this other stem here that I might just chop off and I'll make it as low as I can against that bracket. So I can have the seat low. The lower the seat, like a jump bike, gives you more maneuverability. You only need the seat up to pedal, which I don't need to. So there's the seat in its new position, nice and low. Perfect. Pretty hard to get to the adjustment bolt, but it's all right, you're gonna take the shock out. So I weld that off once I get the frame apart. But what I think I'm gonna do next is mount this rear brake caliper. I can't put it in the traditional position, position because this piece of the frame is in the way. So I have to run it underneath. I'll sort of do it about like, like that. And I drilled and tapped this hole in here, and I've got a little rod to run to the front. Because when you lock the brake up, it's going to try and pull the caliper around, so I need a like a tension stopper. And then I'll also go through and cut off all these extra bits that I don't need to save weight. So I've got this rod here that I just welded a piece of flat bar to the end. I'm thinking I'll just drill and tap a hole through here and make a little tag off there. And that should stop that spinning around. Alright, that's on there now. So that'll stop the brake from trying to spin around. And I can still adjust the chain tension. So next thing I've got to do is sort out this issue with the chain. So right here, it's rubbing to the extent where it just pushes itself off so someone commented that I should cut a c-notch out of there which is I think is a good idea so I tried running the chain the other way but it's got to go so high that it'll be ridiculous so that sounds like my option but I gotta take it all to bits to do that well I might call it there for this episode uh, the rear shock is sorted out I like how it works Plenty more to do. But until next time, like and subscribe. See you in the next video.